Hi, it's James here from Chapman Machinery, and I'm going to give you a product walk around of the MG250 Arena Leveller. The MG250 is a, is a leveller designed for almost all arenas, such as sand, rubber crumb, and wax surfaces. Pretty much all surfaces can be maintained with this machine. It's a 2.3 meter working width, really nice wide machine, very, very heavy duty build across the board, and it's also fully hot tip galvanized. So it can be left outside the arena if you need to, if you're short of space. Essentially, you don't have to worry about maintenance on this machine. So what I'll do is I'll start at the front of the machine, work back, talk through some of the features and benefits and why this is a great machine for maintaining your surfaces. So at the start of the machine, you've got a standard ball hitch, goes onto pretty much any vehicle. It's also a swivel hitch on this one, so it allows the leveller to rotate left and right as you're travelling along the surface. The drawbar itself is adjustable in height, so if you've got different towing of vehicles such as a 4x4 or ATV, you simply loosen these pinch bolts, raise or lower the drawbar to keep the frame level, and then tighten the pinch bolts up. Once it's set, you don't have to do that again. Behind the drawbar, you've got what we call the pre-leveling bar. So this is especially useful for like a rubber crumb surface, for instance. It helps level the material in front of the wheel so they've got a nice flat surface to run on. So it's a simple steel bar, pivots with a small gas strut, just to help smooth the surface out as you go. Adjustable with a couple of points there to make it more or less aggressive if you need it. Moving back from that, you've got your main handle here. So this is used to change the machine from working to transport mode. So as we've got it now, it's not hitched up to a machine, but it's in your working position. When you're done grading, you can simply pull on that handle, lifts the machine up into the transport mode. The roller lifts slightly as you, as you get to the bottom of the travel on this lever. You can also as well flip it off if you need to, if you've got um, tight access into your surface. So I'll pop it back down into the working position. Nice and easy like that. Behind that, you've got your main depth limit adjustment. So this here works as a limit stop. So it stops the, the machine running too deep into the surface when you're traveling along. Once you've got that initially set up, you essentially don't have to touch that. So when you first get the machine, there'll be a little bit of tweaking, a bit of trial and error until you get it set. Once you've got it set, that maintains constant the whole way through, through using the machine. It's nice and easy to use. Handle there, rotates on a, on a thread. So moving back from that, we've got the large 22 by 11 by 8 wheels. Good quality tyre, large rolling diameter and nice and wide. So they spread the weight of the machine out, tow along easily, and they're a good solid tyre. Behind that, you've got the gas strut here. So that just, as I mentioned earlier, that helps when you're lifting the machine from work to transport mode. Following on from that, you've got the main tines on the, on the machine here. So these are really good quality agricultural tine. They're designed for ground engaging. So we don't mess around with using hay tines or, or non-ground engaging tines. These are designed for working in the soil. For most people, they'll last the life of the machine but they are replaceable if you need to individually. The time bar itself can also be adjusted up or down to make it more or less aggressive as required to get into the surface. And then so moving back from that, you've got the main leveling blade. So the blade on this machine is a profiled steel. It's nice and thick, but it's also got a little bit of flex to it and profiled so that it will move as you're going across the surface. And this means that it feathers the surface out as you're traveling along. Finally, at the rear of the machine, you've got the consolidation roller. So what we have here is designed for tamping the surface down. So we use a straight lathe. So it's a, it's a nice heavy roller, so it does compact the surface. And as it travels along, it vibrates slightly. So that just helps to, to finish the surface nicely, give you that good surface feel when you're using your arena. The roller itself, so this is in the normal transport position. If you wanted to, to move, uh, this is in the working position, sorry, if you wanted to move it into the transport position or if you didn't want to use the roller, you can simply flip it off out of work and locate it again using these clips. So you just lift the roller up, pop the clips in, one each side as required. So if you come around to the side of the machine, another feature, great feature we've got on these, First of all, we've got the side wheels. So these are designed 
so that when the machine is running along your running boards, you, 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 it's running along on these wheels rather than dam damaging the running boards with the actual frame. They're a solid plastic wheel, these are really, really robust, but they are replaceable if, if required. You can also adjust the offsets so they're further in and out from the, this side of the blade. And then the final point we've got to look at on this machine is the perimeter blade. You can set this blade to run on the left or the right of the machine. We've got it on the right hand side. Depending on your towing vehicle, sometimes it's easier to use it on the left and you can do that as standard on all the machines. This is it shown in the working position. So it works to pull the material in and again it's also got a wheel at the back of it which runs along the, the kickboards or the running boards of your arena. When you're done at the edge of the arena, it's easy to take it out of work. You've got a pin clip here with a captive retainer on it. Pull that out and then it just comes away. And then to make sure you don't, use, you don't lose it, you can just sit out of there where it's out of work, but it's always on the machine so it's ready to go next time you need it. And that's just retained by this, this nice, simple, nice little pin with a retention clip. So just to recap, the MG250, really high quality machine, heavy duty, 2.3 meter working width, fully galvanized construction, works on almost all arenas and can be set to work on almost all arenas. And it's a really good way of maintaining your investment. So arenas cost tens and, and tens of thousands of pounds. We see a lot of people will maintain them with, you know, even an old gate just dragged around and you're really not looking after the surface doing that. With this machine, it will ensure you get a lot more out of your surface. You're getting a better surface feel when you're actually using it. You're spending less time leveling it and it will make your surface last longer. So it's a worthwhile investment for anyone who's got an arena or arenas to maintain. Hope you found that uh, video informative. Please subscribe to our channel or share with any friends or colleagues. And um, we will send future videos out via our channel and we hope you enjoy them. Thank you.